Welcome to MIMO in 5 minutes. In this tutorial, we will describe what MIMO is, how MIMO uses multiple transmitters and receivers along with multiple antennae to achieve faster transmission speeds, and we will describe how MIMO can be used to construct a wireless LAN. We will also touch upon some lesser known applications for MIMO in WiMAX and wireline spaces. So let's get started. MIMO stands for Multiple Input, Multiple Output. As shown here, MIMO uses multiple antennae at several transmitters and receivers to achieve increases in bandwidth. Generally speaking, the more transmitters and receivers that are used, the faster the speed that is delivered. The number of antennae at the receivers in a MIMO system is always greater than or equal to the number of transmitters. MIMO's core technologies are spatial multiplexing and beam forming. We will touch on these difficult concepts in this tutorial. The horizontal gray bars in this picture depict how signals often arrive at a receiver after having bounced off distant objects. More on that later. Most discussions of MIMO focus on its use in 802.11n wireless LAN technology, but MIMO also plays a role in WiMAX as well as wireline applications. In this tutorial, we will mostly focus on MIMO's use in wireless LANs. To understand MIMO, let's first consider an ideal world situation in which a transmitter is sending a signal to a distant receiver. In this perfect environment, the receiver interprets all frequencies equally well and receives signals only once each time they are transmitted. Unfortunately, in the real world, the situation is often far more complicated. In the diagram, we see that signals sent by a transmitter sometimes take multiple divergent paths on their way to a receiver. Thus the same signal can arrive at a receiver more than once, often out of phase, in other words, delayed in time. These multipath issues, as they are called, can confuse a receiver, thus limiting the rate of transmission in the system. In addition, a receiver in the real world typically receives some frequencies better than others. Now imagine if a second receiver were added to this system. A computer that is connected to both receivers can compare the signals received by each and make decisions about which data to keep and which to discard. Even if the receivers and their corresponding antenna are spaced just a few inches apart, the frequency response, meaning which frequencies are received well at each receiver, can be drastically different. Thus, the computer is able to combine the reception from the two receivers based on whichever is doing a better job at each frequency. In addition, through the use of some clever mathematical algorithms, many of the multipath problems we described earlier can also be significantly reduced. Now let's take a look at the transmit side of MIMO. MIMO transmitters use a technology called beamforming to focus their transmit energy towards the receiver. That way, more of the signal gets to the receiver, while less is wasted heading in other directions. In addition, as the name MIMO implies, MIMO uses multiple transmitters. These transmitters can simultaneously transmit the same signal, or they can transmit different signals all at once, depending on the system configuration. As we mentioned earlier, the number of antennae at the receivers in a MIMO system is always greater than or equal to the number of antennae at the transmitters. Thus, MIMO is able to achieve faster transmission speeds using the techniques we have just described. Now let's take a look at what a real-world MIMO system looks like. Here we see a MIMO router on the left which has three antennae. On the right is a corresponding unit that would typically go into a laptop or desktop PC located elsewhere in the house. Note both of these systems contain both transmitters and receivers as data typically flows back and forth between the router and its associated peripherals. Thus the antenna in these boxes shown are performing double duty for both the transmitters and the receivers. The system pictured here is a typical consumer-based 802.11 wireless LAN system which is the most popular use for MIMO today. MIMO also has uses in WiMAX. We will not discuss them further in this tutorial, but you can look on this Wikipedia link 
to see how MIMO is used in WiMAX. Note that this article is quite a good deal more technical than what we have described in this tutorial. Finally, we conclude our MIMO tutorial by mentioning that MIMO also has wireline applications. There is in fact a private company named Actino that is focused on MIMO and is using it to build transmission systems for backhaul and other applications. If you want to learn more about how MIMO is used in wireline applications, check out the white papers on Actino's website.